I used to think that people um, at uh, certain levels couldn't make a difference. Um, and now I actually think that not only do I think that we can make a difference, I actually know we can make a difference through small incremental changes. One of the key issues there is, is you work with something all the time, you tend not to see waste, but if you step back and, and really have a look at things, it, it is amazing just how much waste you can actually see and then do something about. Working with others um, has been really uh, influential on me and seeing the potential in others as well. Everybody can make the difference. You just have to be willing to try. I used to think that it was a process for machines and had nothing to do with people, um, I'm ashamed to say. Now I've realised how we can implement it into a patient care environment. It doesn't happen very easily, but with a lot of work engagement, it, it does fit the, the um, patients and how we deliver care, and we can make sustained changes. The KPL team promotes quality improvement using Kaizen tools which originated in the Toyota Motor Company and were developed for use in medicine by the Virginia Mason Institute of Seattle. At present, a patient partner could be involved in this work as a team member or advisor to an improvement workshop or a visioning or improvement event. But in time, it may become possible for patients to contribute as sponsors or workshop leaders dependent upon their experience and skills. Respectful patient voice must be heard as it is central to high quality improvement. Go to the Genba, the where the work is done, and really understand what our colleagues are working with. It's something that we have seen bring huge benefits where we've seen colleagues who wouldn't ordinarily be involved in this kind of work make huge strides. It's brought people together, it's brought colleagues from a range of different disciplines and different roles together and that has had, I think, it's turbocharged our improvement as a trust. My KPO journey began abruptly four years ago with a trip to Seattle which is in stark contrast to my previous five years as a clinical physiotherapist in the basement of St James's Hospital. I've enjoyed the opportunity to work with colleagues across the Trust and the wider NHS to develop our Leeds Improvement Method. Now I think that it's about a synergy of our respectful approach to the way we manage our services, understanding and applying the right improvement tools, and most importantly, the culture we create to enable and empower everyone to be involved. I've built and maintained strong and effective partnerships with my peers, and key stakeholders, including patients. I have led improvement events that have had a significant impact on patients and staff. It is not very important to note your demand and collect data for leader standard work. Now I think I want to give people a fighting chance at stepping in to a standardised KPO specialist role by collecting data and creating standard work come along with me on this journey and we've implemented lots and lots of different small-scale change management programs and um, changes of working that has really directly improved patient care. I didn't feel I was senior enough um, I now realise, having done the Leeds Improvement Training, that actually your seniority in the organisation doesn't matter. It's having that willingness to get involved, try new ideas. 